Okay, stock market, S&P 500, SPY, building the intermediate analysis. So I'm going to take you through uh, some step-by-steps in here of when I begin to look at a chart and how I evaluate the chart, how I see the cyclical patterns in there, of course, with my trained eye, and want to teach you how to do the same thing. And, of course, you can always take our cycle analysis workshop and go to the front page of the workshops and you can see some details on that uh, and a free video on what that looks like. So we're going to take this step by step as I say and then uh, in the, there'll be a second phase to this uh, in the level four special I'm going to offer following this where I look at our proprietary indicators run live and you'll be able to get a sense for uh, the multiple time frames. Right now I'm going to focus on the weekly chart uh, looking at SPY. So uh, here is the SPY chart, and you can see there looking at it that it's basically a, a general uh, candlestick that you may see. Now there's a couple studies to, uh, on here. First of all, we have uh, two moving average. It's the 13 and 34, a weak simple moving average. That is uh, what is uh, what we like to use on our weekly chart. And generally, uh, when they're configured in a positive way, where the 13 is above the 34, it's a uh, positive condition. And when they roll over and cross over, <coughs> then you get into a more negative condition. Often, the 13 is a support, as you see right in here, uh, or a resistance. When it gets very far from that 34-week moving average, which it did right here at the pandemic bottom, it often comes back up to it. Now, if this continues to move down in here, eventually it'll come back and tag that 34-week moving average. So that's just a sense for what we have in here. Also, we have our reversal scout, which is our momentum indicator, and also an indicator that helps us identify the um, cyclical patterns that are in here. Of course, cycles are uh, measured from trough to trough or low to low. And often they have very uh, common um, lengths uh, within the cycles. And when you have a market that is very skewed in one direction or the other, sometimes they're tough to read. Uh, and uh, sometimes when there's good volatility, they're easy to read. And you're going to see that in here as I move to the next slide. So we're going to look here at slide number two. And here you could see we're adding in cycle brackets. Now, what we've identified looking at is that there is a dominant cycle right over here. The cycle, again, is from this low here at the pandemic bottom. The dominant cycle right in here is 26 weeks. So it's this period right in here is 26 weeks. This one right in here is almost unidentifiable. This is what we say when a cycle goes invisible or swamped, when it should be in a corrective period, as you saw right over here, but it doesn't really have a measurable decline, just this little one right in here, which isn't very readable. And that happens in very strong markets. There were one, two, and three of those with swamped type looks to them. And then you can see right in here, the low right here and the low here were much more readable in this same uh, uh, pattern. As you see now, uh, I'm going to move to the next slide in here, and we're going to get more and more information. You can see uh, as I do this how we start to look in here. So now I've put the actual dominant cycle lines on the chart on top, and you can see how this, which is the ideal cycle, this is not actually cycles. This is just a guide to help us understand the length in here, which from this low to this low is about 26 weeks. Their, uh, the, the average uh, cycle is what we really look at. They're never going to be perfect. Uh, but you can see one, two, three rising cycles, and then a cycle that actually brought the peak and a cycle that brought the bear market that we're in right now. Now, we believe this is incomplete, and I'll show you more about that as we go forward. You'll also note how the reversal scout uh, traces out that cycle beautifully in here as it did in here, but not as clear because of the upward pressure that was in there. And that show you see that in this 13 week moving average. And then it uh, rallies and then rolls over again very early in here. I'll talk more about what that means when it peaks early here. 
then it started to come down and based on what we see in here there's an indication that this decline is not over with because the length takes it out here to September or early October. Show you a little bit more about that as we move uh, to the S&P 500 again with more information. And now you can see I've added in the, the minor cycles in here, which uh, are the 13 week up on the chart and you can see how they resolve themselves and also added in these vertical cycle lines which are the actual points that the cycles bottom so you can see in here this was pretty perfect this bottomed early which by the way often happens in a, in a rising market declining markets tend to bottom later this one a little bit long as you can see this one pretty spot on not bad and this one points to and you see these two vertical lines right over here that's a low maybe late august early september all the way out over here to early october so this is where we're starting to get that september october and one more downside move you'll note that this minor cycle right in here is forming in that rally a bear flag now this is what happens when you have a big downward momentum in here and then the minor cycle pushes up it can't go very far because the dominant pressures are still to the downside and that's how you build a flag like this actually <clears throat> If you take our cycle analysis workshop, module number nine talks about how cycles actually build these patterns, uh, and you learn a lot by taking that. So this right over here shows a flattening out right over here of momentum. It's improving a little bit, as you can see. Uh, but then there is risk over here when this market turns down that it's going to get sold again and come down to, well, to some reasonable projections which I'll show you in just a moment. So you can see in here the clear uh, added minor cycles. You can see the dominant cycle lines and how the cycles do have averages in time that are fairly close. The principle of variance says that it will vary by some amount, and usually it's three or four bars in either direction. And uh, if it varies beyond that, then we know that there is some shift going on. And then we look at how to analyze the energetic shifts that are happening. There is so much incredible information that you get by this style of analysis. Here you can see right over here is uh, the next uh, phase in here. And I'm showing configurations and cycle translations and the head and shoulders top as that formed. So this you can see are the uh, what we call configurations. As right in here the market was moving up, each of these cycles were positive positively configured. Each of them peaked on the right side of the cycles, uh, which means that they were positively translated. When you have a positively translated cycle in a bullish configuration, that says the next cycle will go to a new high, as it did here and here and here. But look what happened here. This configured negatively, and that said there was a major top in. When you got the rally and hit resistance and then came down and broke, well, that made your head and shoulders top. Now we're getting a head and shoulders measured move down over here, which is to about, well, 320 or 325 on the SPY. Also, you can see in here this uh, flag in here uh, still, and that's likely to turn down and move down into this area. So you see the translations turn negative. That essentially took your uptrend right in here and made it into a topping and into a negative trend, as you see right there you'll see more of that as we move into the next stage here you could see our projections in here and what really happened government stimulus was extreme extreme valuations you got up to 200 uh, percent s p 500 to gdp it then began to roll over uh, made this head and shoulders top and you have this downward motion in here and the measured move down over here to about 3200 we also uh, have, that's 32 on the SPY, 3200 on the SPY, on the SPX, and uh, there's also important supports that occur somewhere around 30, uh, 350 in here, and then down at that 3200 level. So uh, you can see in there that the Fed withdrawal stimulus all of a sudden brought that uh, decline in here, the head and shoulders top, and you can see these yellow areas right in here. Those are the actual periods of risk 
where each of these declines should come. When you have this big upward momentum, they're not very strong. When the momentum changes to negative, they're strong, and that's why we think there's a strong decline coming right there on the downside. So that's a look at the SPY. And the last one we're going to look at right in here is uh, these final projections down to these supports. And the fact that there is another rally likely coming right out over here. <clears throat> So that's a, a good look at, you know, where you get this bottom timing here in September, October, and then these next cycles over here, which give you a rally. We actually think that bear market low is at the bottom of this cycle, which is in early 2023. Everybody thinks that the lows will come somewhere in here and the new bull market will resume or has resumed. But looking at this, you could see the probabilities of that are very low. So decline how into September, October and uh, then uh, the likelihood of some kind of a move. 350 on the SPY is reasonable. 320 on the SPY is possible in that time. So that's how we get this analysis that we referred to uh, in the S&P 500 and building into that analysis. And I hope you found that very interesting. Coming up, uh, we have a membership special, and I'm going to show you our proprietary indicators, chart streams. Don't scroll forward because you're going to want to see these chart streams and what the conditions are in the market now in multiple time frames. Here is our Level 4 membership special. Level 4 membership special has great content and services for trading and for investing. Uh, level 4 top tier, uh, special trial, final three days for first time subs and upgrades if you're in one of our lower levels you're going to get our multiple time frame uh, charts an entire focus list on 84 symbols with the cycle analysis you can import them save view live on the thinkorswim platform yes you need to have thinkorswim or you want to choose level three ask slim proprietary studies you'll get our slim ribbon slim ribbon po reversal scout mci obi and more i'll show you those in a moment and you can import and save them and have them live on your thinkorswim platform uh, you'll have our thinkorswim grid archive with all of our custom charts and best indicators and all of our support resources uh, chart analysis training q a with the slim analysts in the discord channel and uh, best practices using our custom charts and studies and exclusive free webinars that we put on and full membership access to everything levels three two and one go to askthem.com for details on what's in those levels that's a special three-month trial it's 35 percent off for level four it's only 3375 that's 101 dollars or so per month versus the regular 159 it's a one-time use but this is going to give you a great sense for three months of the type of work that we do now here's a deeper look at the spy as we look at chart streams and i want you to see what our live broadcast looks like and what we we uh, uh, cover. You can get our proprietary indicators on any symbol for your level four and have access to all of these uh, just by downloading our special grids. Uh, and I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, this is the Eslin chart streams page right there. <clears throat> all of these things you're looking at right now are SI, our inner day, and these other nine symbols are running live and broadcasting right now with all our proprietary indicators. This is the SPY, which I wanted to show you, which is live right now. So what the information is that you get is uh, looking here, uh, you can see just this little turn up there in the weekly. This is the weekly. We don't, we only show in here the um, reversal scalp because we want you to see what the dominant conditions are in the market. So here you have the daily chart. You can see in here the reversal scout turning up and being positive as it moves into our target zone that we talked about right there. Uh, the cycle patterns that are in there and the potential move down into August that we've talked about. This is the uh, uh, unbelievable slim ribbon PO, which gives you signals uh, here of uh, momentum changes and resumptions. This just did turn green right there. Uh, and uh, I'm going to scroll in here a little bit because I want you to see what's on the bottom right over there. Uh, you can see that our market condition indicator, uh, which is over here, and the uh, right over here is the 
uh, option bias indicator was red and negative for a long period of time, and now that has neutralized here. Here down here is the market condition indicator. It's just barely getting up to the swing zone. These all are giving a sense that while the market's rallying, it's not in the greatest condition. The longer term trends are still weighing on it on the downside. You will also get our two hour charts right here, uh, and you can see in here uh, how the uh, condition turned green right at that point. Uh, that was the Slim Ribbon PO. Actually, it was green right there, and then gave you the momentum signal on the upside, how that exploded to the upside at that point right there. Let's just bring this down so you can see all of that. Coming up to that target zone of the Fib extensions, and right over here is the same uh, indicators that you can get on the 15-minute chart. And this is uh, just like you will see, but more information on the uh, SIR interday live stream and you can see in there how it turned negative right there and this decline here is moving against positive conditions right over here this suggests that uh, there will be another move to the upside so overall the conditions are looking on a short-term basis positive here on the daily positive here on the two hour and the really short term pulling back which says pretty likely that the market will be moving back to the upside. Improvements in the longer term indicators, but still being weighed down. And that's going to stop the market from moving probably past this daily resistance up over here. That's uh, about 404 uh, that you're looking at there uh, on the daily uh, on the SPY. So I wanted you to see that. I thought it was very interesting. You can get all our proprietary indicators <coughs> to put on uh, your ThinkOrSwim platform and do it on any symbol you want. Uh, by just uploading our grids. So what I showed you were the live grids broadcast, but a level four member gets uh, those grids and you can put any symbol into them at all that you want. This top tier level four uh, special trial, there's only three days left on this. So this is the time to do it. You'll get everything in all of our levels, four, three, two, and one. Go to askthem.com for details on the membership page. That's uh, $303.75. It's only $101 per month for all of our work. Unbelievable versus $159 a month, which even then is an unbelievable deal for the incredible hours that our four, uh, four uh, different analysts put into this work. It's best with the Thinkorswim platform uh, to use uh, and this one-time special. Again, if you don't want to use Thinkorswim or open one of those accounts, then a level three membership will work for you and you'll get most of what I just showed you, but in static version really, and uh, you'll be able to get all of our broadcasts also. So uh, if you want a level three special, you can write to man at uh, for that also.